What up YouTube, Bow Boy? Here's a brand new Batman for your review. This time of the Batman Brave and the Bold Blue Beetle. To be more specific, this is the Twist Turbo Blue Beetle. Now this was requested by Dave Tastic 100 and I well here's a link to his channel and I definitely recommend uh, going to his channel and thanking him for requesting this video review. Now this is pretty much the most recent uh, Blue Beetle figure out there in the Brave and the Bold toy line and it's definitely the best one. Now I want to make one thing clear first. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of complaints that oh this isn't Batman but it's a Batman video review but this is a Batman toy. It's under the Batman toy line so therefore it is a Batman toy. That's how it works people. And the packaging. There you go. Name of the figure. Brave and the Bold. For some reason in yellow. We have other figures in the line. We have what it does. And yeah, that is not what it actually looks like. Don't worry. And a prototype picture. Uh, total armor. Uh, got some stuff here. So yeah. <clears throat> this is the packaging. And now this is the figure. And I want to say right off the back, this is a great figure. This is definitely the best representation of Blue Beetle out there. And we can get this out of the way before I get some hate mail. Here he is next to uh, Batman. Um, this guy's uh, scale should be accurate, I believe. Uh, he is a teenager. And just so I don't get any more hate mail, here he is next to the uh, f one of the first Blue Beetles actually released in the toy line, and they are pretty much the exact same sculpt, except. His head can turn, but for some reason on this one, it gets hindered at the shoulder because of the knee. So I don't know if they fixed the head, or uh, they made the, these little pieces smaller. I don't know. Now, for accessories, he's pretty... He's got a lot, so I'm just going to show off the uh, actual figure articulation real quick. Uh, head, shoulder, elbow and leg. That's pretty much it. And, yeah. That's it on the articulation. These figures aren't re really articulated. Now on detailing, he's actually really nice. He's got the blue highlights. Light blue on the hip. That's very nice attention to detail. The boots are painted proper. The eyes have the little dot of yellow in them. Uh, they did use a different shade of blue for the inside of this peg here. And that's it for the uh, detailing. He is a very well detailed figure. He has the appropriate detailing for the Blue Beetle. Uh, this is the new Blue Beetle and my personal favorite out of the uh, previous Blue Beetles. Now, his accessory is his bug. I mean, uh, the scarab. The scarab is this thing. I kind of wish these could peg off because it's not how it looks in the show, but it's still a really good look to how it looks on the show. Uh, peg. It does peg on the back, but you can also peg it on various limbs and you can hold it. Um, now these things here are pretty cool and yes, just to show you, a will clip in the shoulder, a will clip here, and they will also clip here and here. So like I said, these things with the clips will clip anywhere that has the hole. Now. These are his cannons, and they come with a little missile launcher. You put it in, and click the button here. Kind of wish that was painted black. And there you go. You can also put these on here. And have it shoot that. Which, the instructions do say, but I don't have them. And you can kind of do it the same with this. Now, these are meant to peg onto his hands, as such. Peg. And you got his arm cannons, which actually is pretty cool. Uh, you can put the missile in, and they will still fire. The instructions actually tell you to put these, to put this on the shoulder pad, and then these on the legs when you have him in the, in the, um, cannon mode I guess but you don't have to 
Uh, you can also plug these pieces here, and what's the other one? Give them that. You can also well, angle them. Put them at an angle. And if you wanted to, you can actually put these here and give them slim wings, which is actually kind of cool. Um, now these things are meant to also become his uh, boosters, and it depends the way you want to display them. Like if you want to display them from the front, then plug these in with the gap facing back. But if you're going to film some kind of um, uh, stop motion thing with this guy and you want to do it from behind, the Put it like this. So it just depends how you're going to look at him. Is where you would place these. And I'm just going to place this here. Because we're going to look at him from the front. Uh, very nice. It is very um, reminiscent to the ones he used in the first episode. And if you wanted to. You can rotate these. And have him have this kind of look. Actually ain't bad. It is worth mentioning that if you unplug this. And plug this on. You can have him with a single booster backpack. Which he did use in the show, but it wasn't so big. And then you can also give him a helicopter backpack. So he can be all like that. I don't know why you want to do it, but it's your imagination. Um, you could kind of, if you wanted to, plug these on and give him, like, booster boots, I guess. I don't know. And he can hold it like a gun. Although, if you want, you could kind of have it angled so it's kind of like a bazooka and he's using it as a scythe too. Um, it is also worth mentioning that if you have any other missile launchers in this line, uh, the way they're designed you can interchange them. So if I wanted to I could actually put this in my Batmobile and have my Batmobile shoot this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it has a little peg here so that you can, if you have things like uh, this, these are uh, these or these type of um, well, mostly works on this type of hole. If you have item in this too, um, you can stick this in like this and have it as a swivel joint. And one of the benefits of having that is if that if you plug this on and rotate it, you can actually give him a hammer if you can get him to hold it. Right. So yeah, he has a hammer. You can also have him hold these as swords or baton-like weapons. Um, these can actually have some good imagination used to them. Certainly you can give it to him and have him like a tornado gun thing. There we go. A tornado gun thing. It is also worth mentioning that when you plug the cannons in, it helps to have these pieces facing outward because they bump into each other a lot and I just shot the missile at my set so that is um, something you want to know you would like to know and because I'm gonna show it off you can uh, do something I really like and give them kind of a bow gun thing it's actually kind of cool And these will plug in, but you can't plug them in uh, both. You only do one at a time because this covers up the other peg. But you can still... Same thing with this, by the way. Covers up the other peg, but you can still uh, plug these pieces in here. At the same time, and you can still plug this here and give them wings. Which I actually kind of like that feature. And there you go. Now, is he... A recommendable figure um, is kind of the question and I think a lot of people have actually been asking is he worth it at, at least the people I've talked to they've really been on the fence about this guy and I have to say he is not uh, a figure that you want to be on the fence on he's a figure that you're on the fence well you're off the fence saying I want to buy that thing that's the kind of figure that he is and by the way he has a waist I just noticed that. Uh, he's a really good figure. You have a lot of options for playing. He's definitely the most accurate figure out there of the Blue Beetle in the toy line. By the way, gun. Um, I just recommend him to any Blue Beetle fan because I don't know why a lot of people have been um, just not trying to get this guy. 
Uh, he's a wonderful figure. I mean, definitely above and beyond the best Blue Beetle out there. Uh, he's just one that's kind of hard to track down. I've only seen one of him out there. And he does go full on in eBay, at least when I, when I did my research on him. And I think that's what made a lot of people question if he's worth it. But if you are a diehard Blue Beetle fan, or a Blue Beetle fan in general, especially of the new Blue Beetle, then you definitely want to get this guy. He fits very well in scale with the other Brave and the Bold figures. Um, he's just a really good figure, and I really like how they actually gave us an accurate backpack. I just wish that this would come off, these little pieces here. Then I would say the figure is perfect. And he also has something else that if you buy the other Blue Beetle figures, you can plug in their accessories and give them more of an arsenal. Because what you got, you can make some cool weapons like a hammer, a pickaxe, a gun, extra wings, shoulder pads, whatever. He's just a really good figure. And I just recommend it. I give him like a 10 out of 10 if I was doing a uh, number rating. But uh, if you see this guy for like uh, 25 bucks on eBay, definitely go for it. He's worth it. And I'll see you guys later with another video review. I would like to thank DaveTastic100 for uh, requesting this, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.